Hello, Sagittarius. It's my lady from my lady's way tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading. All right, what we got? So, a situation that hasn't been going on that long, or it could be a new relationship. It seems like someone won't open their heart and uh, possibly move in to, um, together or, uh, you know, just... I let somebody in in emotionally, okay? All right, what's going on with the Sagittarius? I'm going to just jump right in since the cards are jumping out. All right, Sagittarius, love reading. October 16th through 22nd, 2017, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, love reading, what's going on? Okay, so I think this came up in the Aries reading too. It seems like um, somebody might be like helping you get out of a negative situation or trying to pull you out, but it seems like they're having a hard time doing it. Either you're having a hard time or, or they're having a hard time, but somebody is sacrificing their self to uh, pull somebody out of a negative situation. Okay, so, wow. Okay, this is a work situation, Sagittarius. Um, or this could be like family, friends, trying to uh, help you, bring you out of a negative state of mind. Okay, so it seems like... Um, You, you've been having some burdens lifted off of you by these friends. It seems like they may be like trying to help you out in some ways to try to get you to feel better about what's going on, about um, this negative area you're in. Okay. All right, what is this? Okay, I didn't get to say it. All right, so you could be dealing with somebody with baggage and that's what took you into a bad place and now your friends or coworkers or family is trying to get you out of it. All right, Sagittarius, love reading Sagittarius. All right, so there are some secrets going on. All right, what are the secrets for the Sagittarius? Okay, so here it is. It seems like you want somebody to move in or you want to move away it seems like you want to move away and you're not telling anybody this gosh okay so it seems like you may want to move in with somebody you want to start a new be beginning with or somebody that you like and i feel like it got something to do with this negative situation and i feel like um <coughs> Could possibly be the parent of a child you guys have together or you know just somebody you care about all right it could be a cancer I mean not cancer but Capricorn Aquarius I mean Capricorn Taurus or Virgo okay all right so this person you're dealing with they could be like a sort of below you on a class scale or maybe just a different religion race or some kind of social difference from you and it seems like you may be trying to run away with this person okay but it seems like people your friends family trying to get you away from them because this person is taking you into a bad um state of mind a bad lifestyle all right so so this is basically saying that no matter what, things are going to happen the way they're supposed to. And things will be good for you in the future, but I feel like only if you get rid of the baggage. All right, let me clarify this. What is this prophecy about? What is this fate about for the Sagittarius love reading? October 16, 2000. 17, October 16th through 22nd, 2017. Okay, so it's basically saying that this person that you're dealing with is going to be in and out of your life. 
I feel like maybe they're not going to take you to move with them. But I feel like you feel like you're secretly going to move out. But this person is just going to be in and out of your life. And it's saying that that's basically better for you. Okay, so it seems like if this might be an ex you're messing with. Or the person that you're dealing with is going back to see their ex. And it seems like whatever the situation is, you know of it. And it's keeping you up at night. All right. Now it's time for my Cleo cards. I like to read these straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. All right, what's going on with the Sagittarius? Sagittarius. Sagittarius Love Vision, October 16th through the 22nd. 16th through the 22nd, 2017. Sagittarius love. Okay, so it seems like some of you guys had some kind of love offers. It seems like this person did promise you to take you away with them, but they wasn't ready for everything. They wasn't ready for it. Or they didn't think you would say, yeah, but now that you're trying to go, you know, you really can't go. All right, so it seems like uh, either you're real tight on money right now, or it seems like you might have been saving up to go on this trip or to move in with this person. Oh, gosh. Okay, so this person it was definitely um, taken from you. Bunch of taken and no giving. Okay, but it seems like there will be victory. So it seems like you do got a whole lot of negative stuff going on, but it still seems like you're moving toward like positivity, you know? All right, what is this Ace of Swords going on for the Sagittarius? Okay, what is this sun about for the Sagittarius? Okay. Wow, so it's like basically you're not going anywhere now, but I guess once you save up the money and you give it to this person, then you're going to be able to go. But I feel like you're going to end up paying for everything. I feel like this is going to take months too. I feel like this person is going to go first, and then once you send them money or something like that, then they're going to come back. And do that. And I feel like once you go, you'll be happy. Just not as happy as you thought you'd be. Alright. And then it seems like there are some secrets going on about that situation. And it possibly... Um, I don't know. You might be dealing with somebody... Somebody with a family. That's what I'm feeling. Okay. All right, so let's go. We got the four coins. All right, the four coins says, a person who may want too much as indicated, a person who indulges him or herself, but rarely anyone else. I feel like this is the person you're going to move with. And then we got the six of coins reverse. A card of envy, hoarding, misdirect misdirected lust, perceived imbalance. So... Yeah, it's just like you really want this person. So you're going to keep giving them money and whatever you think you need to give them to get them to let you come with them. All right, but I feel like you're going to go, but you're going to be living in a separate place. Because this person, I feel like they got a family. All right, Ace of Swords. It says, you are able to move to many situations with great power. Trust your own abilities. It is time to win. So here, yeah, I feel like you are going to get what you want, but it's not going to be what you expected. You know, I feel like it's going to be happiness, but I feel like it's going to be short-lived. Yeah, I'm thinking like after six months to a year, it's going to get bored. All right, so we have the sun card reversed. If I can find that, it will be nice. Oh, 
Wow, I really can't find it. All right, so usually when I can't find it, I just skip over. So we're going to do the moon card and go back to that later. All right, so the moon is frequent mistakes and emotional dilemmas. So it's like, I don't know. Once you get there, you're going to get this happiness, and that's where the emotional dilemma is going to come from. You're going to, like, not be able to focus on anything because you're going to be thinking about where they are and what they're doing. Okay, so we got the sun card. I found it. It says, a time of absolute joy and peace. You look at life as a great gift full of future fortune. So many good things approach. Everything you touch will turn, lead to success, um, ultimate success, but not as strong as the card upright, okay? And then we have the Knight of Staffs. Knight of Staffs. All right, it says, you may be taking a trip soon over a long distance. Now's a good time to change where you live. If you want to leave a situation, leave now. So this could be for moving in with this person or this could be um, just moving on by yourself, just leaving the whole situation. But it's saying whatever you're doing or are trying to do it, it's going to be better for you and it's going to happen after these secrets come out but that's all i have for you guys make sure to check your sun moon and rising signs if you want to press the read check in the description box below email me and we can set something up other than that have a wonderful week